Hey, it's Spoon Phillips out here at the Martin Museum attached to C.F. Martin and Company in Nazareth, Pennsylvania with the amazing 2023 CEO 10. A long time coming. This is in the CEO series, meaning it was designed by the CEO of Martin Guitars, Thomas Ripsom. That's right, you heard me. This is not designed by Chris Martin, who has officially retired, though he remains his... Uh, involved in the company. Thomas Ripson is the new CEO of Martin Guitars and he made this beautiful instrument. Uh, at least he designed it and the fellows and women inside the factory made it. It has a short scale neck so this is officially a triple O, 14 fret triple O with the auditorium body size. It has glorious figured Guatemalan rosewood back and sides. A beautiful FSC certified European spruce top, quarter inch scallops FSC certified European spruce bracing. It's got the high performance neck with a high gloss finish, just like the high gloss finish on the body. It is made in colorful style 42, which means it has abalone pearl around the top and the fretboard extension, the rosette as well. It has wood fiber appointments around the uh, the pearl and on the back strip, it has uh, a bound neck and headstock and body and the binding is highly flamed European maple. So super cool side dots are high color abalone as well, which uh, reflects stage light really well. Like if you're in a low light, uh, like just in the red light or a green light on a stage, you'll still see your side dots. Uh, gold colored Open back tuners, beautiful, beautiful, everything about it's beautiful. The fretboard markers are not style 42. They're not even the vintage style 45 snowflakes that you get on modern 42 guitars. They're actually a relatively rare pattern called the Foden pattern. And that's because one of the premier guitarist, teachers, and composers of guitar music in American history, William Foden, from the late 1800s into the early to mid 1900s, was a Martin fan and had uh, special models made just for him to sell to his students. William Foden was the one that had designed these special markers and they've shown up here and there on some uh, later Martin guitars, particularly I believe Style 25 and some other um, Koa guitars. Well this is not Koa, it's Guatemalan Rosewood and it's very special Guatemalan Rosewood. I've seen such of these in the factory recently that uh, aren't finished yet and it has this like peach blush to it. It's not the dark, dark blackish brown Guatemalan rosewood or even with the purple tints that you see sometimes. And that shows up, they gave it a relatively clear finish. I don't know if they used any toner or not, but it really brings out that uh, the unique color of these particular sets of Guatemalan rosewood. At the top, the uh, spruce top, when they say FSC certified, that's referring to the forest Stewardship Council, which is a voluntary organization all over the world. Uh, people join or at least adhere to the guidelines of FSC to protect the world's forests and the people who live in them. So basically it is responsible forest management and, uh, and the calling of trees inside forests done in a respectful and uh, responsible way, including replanting and that sort of thing. So if you're interested in environmental concerns, you should check out the FSC on their website. Uh, Chris Martin was a big fan of theirs for many years, so we've had many models with FSC certified wood. Uh, Mr. Ripsom is following in those footsteps. So here we have the CEO 10, beautiful woods, wood appointments, um, a bone, nut, and saddle as usual. It's a high performance neck, so you get the high performance taper. So two, uh, two and an eighth here, and one and three quarter inch here. So slim up here, still give you plenty of room down here. And a nice modified low oval profile, again with a high gloss finish. Super fancy, super beautiful, and exactly 100 instruments will be available for sale. Arguably the coolest CEO model, with all due respects to Mr. Martin. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention the beautiful pick guard, the beautiful wooden pick guard with this inlay. Here's the trivia question. This inlay came from where? Answer is 
the single OM45 Deluxe that was owned by Roy Rogers. It's been reproduced on historical recreations, but it originated on Roy Rogers' OM45 Deluxe, unlike all the other 10 OM45 Deluxes made in 1930. But here it is reproduced, absolutely beautiful, my favorite pickguard inlay, my favorite 1920 style 45 torch inlay, and above it, in high abalone pearl, the Martin logo. This, of course, you'll recognize that from the pearly modern deluxe models. So here it is, here it is, the CEO 10, only for 2023, 100 models. Good luck getting one of these, because, well, wait till you hear the angelic sound that comes out of this Guatemalan rosewood and, and European spruce. Thank you. 